I know you would never do this, but have you have a friend or an associate who tends to resist new ways of doing things? <laughs> you're, you're so comfortable and used to an old way of doing something, whether it's in a, in a sport or athletics or business, whatever. And I know you've personally never resisted embracing a new and better way and more effective way of doing it. <laughs> well, I want to welcome you back. This is session video number four in my Skiing to Networking series. And this one is titled Embracing New Ways and More Effective Ways of Doing Things. And you know, this one's a fun one. I'm smiling because, you know, when I started, as you hopefully you heard my story as it unwinds here, but as I started my ski journey back back this past spring, I hadn't competed and trained in, my goodness, 20 years. So what looks like to the average person that a Nordic competitor is using some of the same similar body movements, same drills, maybe same core techniques. Yes, there are some similarities, but there are a lot of changes that you don't see until you really get into the most efficient ways to go down the track. All right. A couple of examples of this. One of my buddies calls it, he's a wonderful coach and mentor. He calls it, um, uh, flex, float, and fly. And so the the older way of doing it is that you would have a lot more extension and your body would go way back and you know a lot, a lot longer stretched out movements. And one of the newer, more effective ways to ski in Nordic skiing is to, you have a certain angle with your, the shin and the leg and the foot. So you're compressing the knee so you can push off. So as that's the flex, all right, and then you have the the float, which is the leg ex is ex is extended, but on the float is you're you're kind of raising and you're rising up the body. So compared to the old style, your arms are higher. You're getting up here. You call it's the more the floating phase. You're rising up the body, and then you have the the fly, which is the push off. So one big difference between the newer techniques today and the older style is that you're, you have shorter, quick, using the core movements, where in the past you had these slower, you know, uh, extensions. It wasn't quite as biomechanically as efficient. So the same thing with our business, you know, for goodness sake, we started, similar to my ski journey, started network marketing 20 years ago too, and it was beating the bushes, word of mouth, face to face, and as time evolved and technology evolved, you know, this, when social media first came on, some leaders embraced it, some didn't. We embraced it somewhat. And then when some of the newer things came on, even in the last six months to a year, I definitely resisted a lot of it. And But then there was parts of it tied to the way we present and the way we communicate with our team that once we saw it in action, it just made so much sense. And it still kept that human, humanness and the people, the tangible connection with people alive and well. So, so my, my, my point in this little lesson here, whether it's tied to your sporting endeavor, in my case skiing, or in our network marketing home-based businesses, don't pursue any theory, but when it's proven and it's, it's working with other leaders and other teams, then embrace it and, and make it your own. If there's one thing that's constant in life is change and look at a way the proven change and experience and then apply it, commit to it, learn it, and make it your own. Have an amazing day. You deserve it.